Hi guys, welcome back to Sierra TV. I'm Roto Apata, your usual host with the most. Yeah, like I told you the last time, we're back with Lame Malomo again. Back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be doing this regularly so that we can just, it's just not me, you know, um, talking about personal finances. I also want you to have a different perspective besides Roto's way of advisory law so that we can actually make this a discussion thing about personal finances and you should be able to learn a, a few things one or two one or two things, things yeah yeah on, on just on how to generally manage personal finances but today we're actually going to be talking about how to work through the tight budget strings yeah you wonder where your money is going what is budgeting Rato orange yeah? and you know how do we do that so we're going to talk about that today um especially now that you know, our incomes have been affected and et cetera, et cetera. Um, even when your income is not affected, because I know some of us, our incomes are not affected, but it's important and it's imperative that we know the basics of budgeting, at least how how can we get it, how can we get around it? Like, Caroline? How, how to navigate. Yeah. You know, I think the word is navigate. Because, you know, know yeah. like, yeah, let's go through, you know, what it is that you're doing or maybe ideas of how you can do what you're doing yeah, better. Yeah, how can you do better? Yeah, yeah just to bounce off. We might things. fight about it and have different perspectives. But, <laughs> but you know. it's important to... Actually, it's actually the fighting about it is a good thing. That yeah. means, well, you know, we yeah, different, yeah, perspectives. different perspectives. Yeah. We can't always yeah. agree. <laughs> so, like, let's, let's talk about budgeting, Tota. But what is a budget? Before we even start on how you do it, yeah. what is a budget? What do you think about it? What is your view of a budget? I think my thing is, you know, people take the word budget and they just think it's very, very complex. Yeah. But it's literally just um, a book. You can have a book, you know, mm -hmm. like a little notepad where you write, I earn X amount mm -hmm. and my expenses are... This much. These. And that's a budget. That's and a in budget. the simplest terms. Yeah. Um, and you don't need to do, you know, complicated figures about it. It's literally just, um, I got... Salary, so, salary, yeah, seven thousand. Day, my expenses, mm. uh, nine thousand. Mm. You know that means that yeah. you know, which is mostly the case. Which is mostly the case. <laughs> seven thousand. Now nine. you now need to start navigating <laughs> on the expenses side, yeah. the important stuff and the non-important stuff, yeah. and, and what priorities are not. And that's basically um what a budget is in in the, in the simplest in the most, terms. Yeah. Yes. basically yeah. just your your salary minus your expenses. That's Simple. it. Nothing complicated. Mm -hmm. Why do you think we need it? Look, it's important. Look, now with Corona, mm -hmm. with everything that's going on, you know, people have lost their jobs, yeah. you know, which is, you know, quite sad. Some have mm -hmm. had pay cuts mm -hmm. um, and some are earning yeah. and things are really expensive and they don't see where the money is yeah. going. So it's just very important to almost just have something yeah. where you're able to see what exactly is going on. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's imperative to to almost look at your outgoings as, uh, you know, as they are and what it is that needs to be there yeah. and what doesn't need to be there. Because mm. there's, there's essentials and there's luxuries and yeah. there's, you know, things that can be taken away and things that cannot. Things so, that you can live without. Yeah. <laughs> so you just need to, you know, yeah. almost play around with those yeah. figures to make sure that you land in a comfortable Absolutely. space. Absolutely. I mean, it also depends on who you are. So yeah, not, what your priorities um, are. The thing is with, with budgeting, it's basic. It's still yeah. basic. You prioritize mm. um, um, your expenses of, of fusion, but it's basic. What can you live? without yeah. you know and that's um, the main thing yeah and and the thing is what lemma can live without it doesn't mean i can live no. without it you know so that's why career is different but you need to be able to personalize it for yourself and say okay i can definitely do without this yeah and i think you the know? problem that you know a lot of people have with it is that you've got this you know ideology of how you should be living yeah versus the reality of how you're living. Yeah. You know? I'll yeah. give you a very simple example. Going out mm. to an establishment mm. at the end of the month on mm. a Thursday. Mm. Is that a priority? Mm. Looking at the fact that maybe, like I said, your your, your income is seven mm. and your outgoings are nine. Mm. Not having that social... Not saying that people should not have fun, but yeah. not having that social... Um, expensive setting and maybe doing it on a smaller scale at home yeah. will save you Some a money. couple of pulas. Yeah, and then you um, can take it. Then down. you can take it down, you know, mm. to eight point five. Yes, you know, you, you're from, now, nine. from nine. You're now, <laughs> yeah. you know, little little things. You know yeah. that they, you know, I think people always think for me to get back, I need to move a huge. Not necessarily. It's it's, little it can, things. Your little behavior. It's little things that take the yeah. money. 
it's the little things that take yeah. money because we normally find ourselves where we say, you know, Lord, I don't know where my money is going. Yeah. Like literally, I have no idea where my no, money. Definitely. If you find yourself um, saying, or if you find yourself not knowing where your money is going mm-hmm. every other month, and you're just like. I swear I just got my salary last week and I get a lot of money. By the 4th, you're struggling. Yeah, by yeah. the 4th, you're struggling. And you're paid on the 25th. Just know there's, hey, something wrong. there's something wrong. In terms of, that means there is no budget. There is no proper budget mm-hmm. in place that you are following and you're not reflecting and you're not learning from your mistakes every single month. Because every single month, I'm sure you're like, yeah, next month, I'm doing better. <laughs> I'm doing better every month. But... And I think another thing that we really need to um, let, you know, put out there is that it's very important to know that you shouldn't be living from paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. And that's it's unnecessary and, stress. And, 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 that's an, and that's something, look, things are tight. Mm. And, and we can all agree that things are tight mm. for everyone. Mm. Everyone's feeling the pinch. Even the mm. people that thought, we thought would never feel the pinch are feeling Everybody's the pinch. Everybody's feeling the pinch, So yeah. you cannot live from paycheck to paycheck, which goes back to our conversation which we had the last time about mm. investing. Yeah. Somewhere in that budget, there has to be a saving. Oh yeah, you know you it, have to be part putting, of the expenses. Yes, it has saving to be somewhere is, where, for a rainy day. Saving is a so part of expenses. That's like a, the, mm. you know that's how now you try and balance out the next month because yeah. you've been putting something away a little bit, a little bit every month for a rainier time. Like so how? now you can't now be tight, tight, tight like the way things are now, and you've got nowhere to, to go. look. Yeah. So it, the the most important thing I think with budgeting is that if one of those expenses, one of the key things in those expenses should be a savings. Uh, absolutely. Mm. Because now the rainy days have come. I'm sure now, uh, you know, we've been preaching for many years now <laughs> that guys, you know, saving for an emergency, saving um, for a backup plan is yeah. such high priority. Now you've seen now what mm. indeed um, emergencies do happen. A time, rainy day does come. And this is it. This is actually quite And 2020 quite was a rainy year. It was a it very even, rainy year. It wasn't, even, it wasn't times. It was the year that it, was rainy. Yeah. So, just, yeah. so yeah. It could have, those rainy day yeah. emergency accounts come very handy right yeah. now. Because, I, get, I mean, look, nothing has changed. Our lives haven't changed and mm-hmm. that the kids are still going to school. Yeah. You still need fuel in your car, electricity. You know, the, like the, the, the basic needs yeah. still come out yeah. every month without fail. Yeah. So... Um, you know, with the rain that we're having being Corona in 2020, that yeah. hasn't changed your, your, your outgoings. And then, you know, the conversations that you need to be having with yourself and with your budget are, you know, how then do I make these fixed expenses mm. work within my income? My income. Yeah. I get it. So now let's be practical. I mm. want us to get to the practicality yes. part of it. Because right now, what we've been doing, we're just discussing the general part. Yes. Of you know, this, guys, this is what it's actually making mm as go deeper because you're yeah. not saving mm. and as well as you know you go to the random establishment every single other week yes and the, that's the, a nice the, thing. and it's nice it's a nice it's, feeling it's fun, but right? it's, you also need the break to yeah go there. i think once yeah. in a while it's yes. okay you know just but to, it can't to, be a, a weekly thing. a weekly thing you know, it can be a daily thing it can either. be a daily thing yeah, yeah. so like, let's get let's be practical now now what can you do if you don't know where your money is going or you do have the seven thousand um Income and you have a nine thousand expenses. Where can you start? You know, where, where can one start? I'll be very practical with you. Yeah, I, I'm a cheapskate, and then I'll be very happy yeah. to say. I, 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 like, I, I think we discussed that. You know? <laughs> I like a bargain. Yeah. I, I, I like a bargain. Look, mm. I like my expensive things, but I love giving them in a bargain. Yeah. And I, for me, what I've done is that, um, you know, I was spending about seven five hundred pula. Mm. Um, you know, every two weeks on fruits and vegetables or per week, depending when you're going into your, mm. you know, chain stores, you pop in, you're getting mm, stuff every for the other week. week. Mm. And it's, you know, the, the bill is just increasing. Your food bill is just out of this world. It's actually crazy. That's with actually two, the highest with bill two, with we two, have. With two children at home. Two boys. Two but, boys. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> there's um, two girls and then there's two boys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> With two boys at home, it's it's you know the food bill is <laughs> mm. is that, and you know, and you want your children to eat healthy, so you know yeah. your fruit and veg, you always prioritize that in your in your meal plan. Mm. But you know, I then you know found um, a person that sells things at a quarter, if not half the price, on mm. the street. Mm. You know, as look, compared to going to the shop, as compared to going to the shop, Pusha VW mm-hmm. on the other side, yeah. you're also Pusha getting a bargain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're pushing that, mm-hmm. um, so you'll find that, you know, so instead of spending your 700, 500 at the chain store, 
I think this lady with a box of everything, you mm. know, you and, and I mean strawberries in there, your blueberries. Yeah. I'm not talking just what, apples what, and bananas. Where do I need to talk about that? Did you just say blueberries, girl? <laughs> your blueberries, strawberries. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you know, you've got the stuff that you mm. want to get in there. Mm. Um, and it's well, I think I spent a maximum of two ten, two thirty a week, and that's that's with that's with onions and peppers, and, and I mean your bell peppers. I'm not just talking the green peppers, like mm. all of them. Like, Harbi <laughs> green hell. No, I'm Can talking about top of the green pepper. <laughs> the whole shebang. <laughs> And you know, for two ten, I'm like, I, I, I honestly remember going there and thinking it was a fluke. Mm. The first time I did, it, I was like, it was a fluke. Second week, I went, the stuff was even fresh. You know, it was no yeah, difference. It's still the same yeah. labels that you're so getting. So her margins are better. So her margins are better. Look, she doesn't have the rental that the shops are having. Yeah. So obviously that impacts on the pricing. Mm -hmm. But like I'm saying, you then start um, not go, not say not getting a list from Auntie saying the following things aren't there mm. and then you pop into the store and just mm. buying mm. off the mm. you you meal plan you say this week we're eating the following things mm. look i know it's cheaper to go at the end of the month specials and buy in bulk mm. what you find with that method is that you're now augmenting you know the things that you've bought the big shop mm. with little things that go off during you yeah know, the, the fresh week, stuff the fresh yeah. stuff so you're constantly just nip into the shop every other day to get mm. this you nip into the shop every other day to get that and mm. that and every time you nip in, so those five things are 280. Yep. I think I went to one of the chain stores yesterday and mm. I was literally buying five things. It was 280. Yeah. And that's when now you realize that this is crazy. Your budget is dipping the other way yeah. because you've now gone from I'm spending 1,500 on food mm. to adding another 280 on top of that 1,005. Yeah. So I think you need to be realistic with the food budget as well to say it's going to vary. Mm. It you know at month end you'll spend that mm. but then the more you augment during the week you can that's why I'm saying you plan your meals mm. for me anyway I plan them and then during the week I know that I've bought everything so I don't mm. have the you, oh every other day yeah. you go so then how do you I think we're gonna actually include this one and now how do we augment our kids yeah into this I think that's gonna be one of the episodes that we're gonna talk about yeah now. how do we now ensure in the home yeah we're managing things properly yes, so that. We don't keep because that's just a huge contribution no, to our budget. Now, now, on the practical side, now I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna interpret that yeah. for 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 the for the viewer on how that can be done. Like for instance, you've received your salary, right? You've been spending seven hundred pula a week yes, on, on veggies, right? Or just on the weekly groceries. Yeah, yeah. after the, week, the big shop. On the after the big yeah. shop, I can one point five worth of groceries. <laughs> everybody, yeah. everybody, including yeah. the veggies. Next week. Spinach is finished, milk is finished, the bread, whatever, you know, the, the, the um, green peppers, like you're saying, veggies mm, that are yeah. finished because we eat those every day. So then how can you then um, ensure that you are cutting it down that? Because now she has um, just made a suggestion. Actually, she just said this is what she's doing. What is she spending? She's been spending 700 bucks um, every other week. She found somebody that she can spend exactly the same mm. vegetables and fruits. Now it's two hundred bucks. How how much of a difference? That's a five hundred pula saving, oh, and and it's super important that when you make this saving, is that you realize it, you yes. see it, because, and you save it, and you save it because what happens? No, you get excited, then you go to the establishment because you save five hundred. Yes, or something happens. No. Something you get know. excited, and then you're like, oh, that thing that I couldn't do, I'm not doing it. But now you've not made the saving because you've now taken created that, another expense. You've created another expense. Yeah. You see? That's the thing that I mean, and it's a human thing. Yeah, it's just that you have to be conscious that you're doing it. Yeah. Um. I mean, it was funny. I bumped into one of my friends. We kept seeing each other at the same chain store, mm. like I think twice a week. <laughs> and I said to her, "I was like, we need to stop doing this. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. I was like, we need to stop doing yeah. this." And it was funny. She's like, "I don't go there anymore. Do you?" I'm like, "Well, maybe I haven't stopped yet." <laughs> I don't know. But I think it shows you that you know you're on your way home. You pass these establishments all the time and you're like, oh, let me just take a quick left yeah, turn. Yeah. You know, and just... There's no ice cream at home. Just... Look what's in the hell out of the ice cream. The ice cream, you're not going to buy it alone, right? Mm. You're going to be like, oh, but I saw that this is not in the cupboard. And, yeah. this. and that's another thing about going shopping with a list. Yeah. Go shopping with a list. And it, be... It works. And be, be very strict on yourself yeah. that you're going to buy only the things on the list. Yeah. And if you deviate, you're deviating for something that is very essential. Yeah. You know, not just to be like, oh, I think... And never go shopping hungry. Yes. <laughs> Actually, one of my team members once said that to me. You know, she says, you know, Lotta, one of the things I don't do, and it's the best thing, 
don't go shopping hungry. You're gonna buy the whole shop. <laughs> you are not gonna buy the whole shop. <laughs> because you're so hungry. Because you're really hungry. You're like, oh, I don't know what I want to eat. So because because I'm gonna have go chips. Yeah. I'm gonna have this. Don't, don't, don't go shopping then. hungry, guys. Don't go shopping. And the other thing is, you know, now that we're talking about food, pack. You're packing. You know, if you've got kids, you're packing the kids' lunches every day. Mm. Pack your lunch. Mm. Don't spend lunch money. If you're spending what thirty pula every day on your lunch. That's a lot of money at yeah. the end of the week. Let's actually calculate yeah. that. 30 pula um, Times per five. day, that's about 150 per week. Yeah. And that's about what? 500 bucks a month? Mm-hmm. Actually. What are when you... Yeah, that's actually yeah. 500 bucks a month. So when you actually now decide... And at the same time, what I get to do I think. So it's like a double bill that you have. Mm-hmm. So I think what we need to say... What I, I mean, we're not saying don't treat yourself once in a while on those lunches. wrong. Once in a while, not every day. Christmas is not every day, guys. You can't, <laughs> you can't be treating yourself every day. But you also have to teach yourself, no matter. Yeah, but I not think every even, day. Look, I think in as much as life, you know, life is tough. Yeah. Um, one thing that twenty twenty has um showed us is that Self-love. you only live once. Yeah, you only live once. That's you only true. live once. I, I know, I know. Everyone, is... I, I've said, have you seen the if you die, you die. No, uh, the, the, these, no. are you not on social media? Everyone's like on if you die, you die. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> No, guys, you're not doing that. No, you die, you die. no I'm just saying that people are now saying they're going to do things that they would never do. Yeah. Because they then we're living really a little. You're li- you know, we're and living saying, a little. Like as much you. as there's no money, yeah. let's just live a little. It's okay. I think um, I it's, it's safe to say to people, look, even if you don't, the budgets are really tight. It's still important that you take kids out for that ice yeah. cream on the weekend. Yeah. Um, you know, you guys go out as a family for park. dinner, yeah. to the park. Yeah. There's other things that you can do that don't cost money. Mm-hmm. You know, guys, have a picnic. Mm. You know? That's actually exciting for kids. They love it. Have a picnic, take a ball. Yeah. You know, just spend time as a family without yeah. the incurred expenses. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is actually very important. Yes. For it. Lunches, like like we are saying, for realize that 500 bucks. You see, if you spend 500 bucks a month, on lunch, at work, you can actually pack versus spending on it. Mm. But make sure that 500 bucks goes where? To your savings. savings. Because I think, my dear, it exists. I think that's why you're spending on it every month and every day. So I think, so that's how you can actually ensure that you are reducing that 9,000 versus your 7,000 income. You're not reducing it. But maybe you actually do have your 7,000 and you actually have a 7,000 expenses. How about you actually reduce your expenses? Look at what you need. We'll just give a few examples on how you can reduce even your groceries at home. As simple as the veggie. And another tip you know, is, simple as the vegetables. You know, when you're shopping, don't shop in the account with money. Shop in the account. What if you're going to go shopping for 300? Put 300 into the card that you're going to use. Yeah, so that then you, you don't go over. Because yeah. if you just, and, and swiping is the worst. Because mm, you feel like you have You're money. Like, it's fine. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's it's good, yes. Cash. yes, if you have cash, then you know it's not enough. Yeah, so rather you, then you sometimes have so like, move your money, move your money to your savings account because it actually that. earns you interest as well. Actually, Tip. all your money. Don't and you, the book, my dear. Then just transfer oh. to your current account what is needed. That's a good idea. And then only because so, then then you you're almost limiting yourself not to spend. I like and that. credit cards for now just. Hold it. Yeah, hold I think phone. it's best we let go of the credit cards for now. What if you could cut it up then? Please do. Please do. Because credit cards also kind of they give you this illusion that you have the money. Yes, money. Don't. It's a debt. Yeah. Yeah. Be- because it's the card. So it belongs, it feels like it belongs to you. And if you forgot your card and you're in a shop, you can now all of a sudden pull out the credit card. Yeah. That's that's the trick, guys. Yeah. So that's the thing. And that's another thing that you can remove from your expenses. Yeah. That's a credit card. We've mentioned credit card. Mm-hmm. We've mentioned um, another way. You had look at it all like a discipline. Mm-hmm. How about you move your money? Um, you, all your money that is in the account after the expenses have been paid, you move it to you. And if your you love savings, shopping, if yeah. you love shopping, go window shopping without your cards. Yeah. That way you can't buy. That's true. <laughs> that I mean, you, do you know what the problem is? There's, there's, there's other technologies. <laughs> I've yeah. seen the technology where you take your phone and you go to and get the ATM yeah, out of the cab. So no, I know. Like, let, let's not go window shopping. <laughs> Try and avoid having temptations which you know if you're the sort of person where if you go into a shop mm. and you see a nice handbag yeah. or nice shoes and you're like oh, I, I, I need to have them yeah. stay away from that shop yeah stay away from <laughs> yes. that shop because now you're not tempted because what people are doing now they lay buying it 
And the, so that they so can, you feel yeah. better, like you're okay. <laughs> take it. Take it yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a really good one. And another way as well, hello for your resume, when you go to the shops and you end up buying things that you don't need, how about you? You send somebody who's good at that. You know, <laughs> I know. I don't, my, want, I don't I, want anyone shopping on my. I job, really, no. I, I know my husband is the one who's very good at keeping no. budgets. Happened that to be honest, I realized I don't like shopping. I actually, don't mm. like it. Mm. So also, if it's not for you or you don't have the discipline of actually keeping to budget, give it to your partner. Yeah, if you have a partner, yeah. or give it to your sister if she's the one that is actually good at doing managing, that. managing, 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 managing yeah. that. So hello, I'm not going to talk about how to manage the you know to, to do that's that that's another thing you know? I, I don't have the patience for that so then use somebody mm. who, who does you know and even nowadays it's even good we have people now you can actually send to buy groceries no I, I did that and I did not like it I'll be very yeah, honest because they're not me. bringing what you no they didn't bring I think <laughs> I, I you know I, I like my shopping I like you know taking certain things yeah. and yeah. yeah so um, it's a lot of the bananas are not the way that you would have no, chosen I, was, I wouldn't have not taken these bananas <laughs> so, so that's I realized that thing, that yeah. for me I if it's more going to the shop and picking out the things that I want at the shop yeah. rather than actually just groceries. Yeah. So for me, um, I, I, try, I, I tried the whole, um, especially during lockdown, you yeah. know, I tried the whole um, shop for me and you know, I, everything came and I was like, the most the thing that came, I think I'd ordered prawns and they bought they bought the most expensive prawns in the shop for like two sixty. Yeah. And I was like, and you could have gotten that. But like, yeah. I was going to buy the frozen ones, which are already pre done. So they got the yeah. fresh ones. They so got the fresh ones, yeah. yes, which which cost more. Of course, the price. So course, yeah. That's where now you you almost need to be there to be able to make that decision. There, what is this absolutely worth it or not? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So then get the person that you know will compare and say no. I, I say for that me, that's me. prawns. <laughs> For you, that's you. That's me. I don't have the patience, so my I, husband does. I, 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 mean, I have the patience to go even line up in these little and weird all shops, the shops to get the, I know. To get the yeah. specials. So. so, yeah, we're going to wrap it up because um, time is running we're out. We're out of time. Yeah, it's always fun. I, yeah, it's always so fun <laughs> to talk about. But, you know, I really hope we got the, the point home up you know about budgeting i mean we discussed a lot of things yeah. up, especially on how you can cut down minimize your expenses as far as possible that's where you start and then um how can you even check if your expenses are too high um i always say this to a lot of my clients look at your bank statement print your bank statement yeah. that's your Sounds. that's your reference point <laughs> yeah october november yeah october september and reflect Look mm-hmm. at it and actually reflect and actually put down all the expenses on how you spend your money. And then you are able to see, Horia Mehana, I can do without this and I can do without that. Yeah. I hope this was a good one for you. Let me thank you so thank much you for coming. Yeah. It's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, our next episode, we're going to be talking about your money blueprint. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting yeah. one. Actually. What's yeah. What's your money blueprint? Because basically, why are you spending the money the way you're spending it? Yeah. Tune in. Yeah. Tune it should in. be fun. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Thank bye. you for everything.